everyone, welcome back to Bumblebee. My name is Rachel Fisher and today I am your host. Thank you for being here. And if you're new here, well, we hope you wanna stay. Even if I'm about to talk about the stuff of nightmares. Join us as we review our top 10 list of extinct animals found in the ocean from giant bugs to hybrids the world just didn't need. All this and more only in today's video. Number 10, Bacillosaurus. Sounds like a basilisk. You may be thinking, is she about to say that basilisks are real? Am I wrong? Probably. I don't know you. How are you? How's your day going? Me? I feel like I'm developing thalassophobia. I don't even know how to say that right. Welcome everyone to the Bacillosaurus, an evil shark snake whale that actually existed on the planet for a while there. Of course, they were massive, growing to 50 to 85 feet long in size, but its size was about the only thing it had going for it, sadly. It couldn't echolocate, couldn't deep dive or breach, just had to kind of chill at one level. Theoretically, if you did see it while swimming, it couldn't and wouldn't chase you if you dove too deep or climbed up on land, because why would it? It looked terrifying and could kill you, but this creature was probably the one who only ever earned a participation badge in terms of most terrifying creature in the sea. If you're like me, you started out scared, but now you just kind of feel bad for the guy. There's a reason he didn't survive. Number nine, Tanistropius. It's a water giraffe. Tanistropius is essentially a water giraffe, except with short legs and a super long neck stretching up to 20 feet long. It could literally be standing on the ocean floor and just have its like head poking up with a submarine telescope, just like. Which apparently is exactly what it did when hunting for food. Its front legs were shorter than its back legs, which somehow helped it pitch its neck above the surface to hunt for lunch on land. Fossils of the creature have been found near the waters of Europe and the Middle East and China, but exactly how much time they spent in the water versus on land is still debated. We may never know unless we find a mosquito or something conserved in resin that provides us with enough genetic info so we can bring them back to life. But that'll never happen, will it? Number eight, Jake Coloptorus. If you're having a bad day, then I have just the words to comfort you. Giant sea scorpion. You see? Nothing could be worse than that, except there is. I'm glad nature decided that we didn't need this and that they went extinct. It existed long before the dinosaurs and was a victim to the Permian-Triassic extinction event which killed 90% of all life on Earth. One of the largest anthropods to ever exist, it reached about eight feet long, which is about three feet larger than lol me. Nothing really like it exists anymore and its closest existing relatives to some degree is the horseshoe crab. They call it a sea scorpion, but whether its tail actually was venomous, we don't know. Archeologists aren't sure, but its tail does resemble a scorpion, so they think it could be. Number seven, Helicuprian. Imagine a shark designed to cut pizza into six to eight even slices. That is what a helicuprian was. A prehistoric shark around 270 million years old, best known for its weird vertically circular toothy saw jaw. Paleontologists aren't quite sure as to where exactly its teeth protruded from. Some even consider that it might be attached to the tail or like the side. But the overall consensus was that it sat straight up in the mouth from the lower jaw. A specimen found in 1950 was located in a bay in Idaho, so we know they used to hang around that part of the world a bit. The mouth saw, as we're gonna call it, had 117 teeth and based on a 3D animated model, scientists were able to determine that it did jut up from the lower jaw. Like that, like, like what is that? How did it eat? Like it just doesn't make sense. I'm not really surprised that this guy didn't last because how would you deal with that? How? Number six, Dunkelosteus. It's like a very big turtle mated with a shark and then immediately regretted it. Not as big as some of the other creatures I mentioned, but definitely something even they would hesitate to mess with. This dude wasn't a picky eater in any sense. Weighing at 4,000 tons and measuring 33 feet long, this guy was ready and eager to compete with even the toughest ones on this list. Sharp teeth? <laughs> Didn't need them. It used two sharp blades to snap and crush its prey, carving through bone like a hot knife through butter. That's how strong it was. It also had solid bone-like armor near its head that it used as a battering ram against any challengers. I feel like if there were mythical civilizations, this would be like the perfect underwater steed. It was made for war. But also, this was one of the creatures and probably one of the first to ever have to engage in coitus in order to reproduce. So, sure, some would say they were fighters, but underneath that hard shell, they were lovers too 
but they obviously weren't very good at it because they're extinct now. Before we go any further, remember to hit that like button and subscribe as always for more, especially if you're new here. You, you like us, come on, like it, subscribe, we love it. Number five, Dirk Maharaja Krozi. This one is actually a more recent discovery made in the past 60-ish years. The Dirk Mahara is Gaelic for marine lizard, which is exactly what it was, kind of. It's best described as what would happen if you made it a crocodile with a dolphin. Flipper, but scalier. Fossil remains were pieced together like prehistoric Jenga after they were first discovered in 1959. Finally, in January 2015, scientists announced a new genus of ichthyosaur. This creature predates the Jurassic period and was probably one of the head honchos around that time. Had it lived long enough into the Jurassic period, it would probably have been gobbled up considering the creatures who came after were huh, quite a bit larger, as we'll discover. Number four, pliosaur. So we've talked about massive, more terrifying versions of things on this list. But we couldn't leave out a warped version of a crocodile, now could we? Growing to about 59 feet in length and lived around 155 million years ago, this thing could swallow a Dirk Mahara in one bite. Not surprising, since its jaw was about the size of the average human, complete with razor sharp gnashers. According to fossils found in England and Norway, this creature resembles a crocodile in very similar ways, aside from its long paddle-shaped limbs. This allowed it to swim at insanely fast speeds, able to travel around six miles per hour. Archaeologists have found the remains of mainly mollusks and other marine reptiles in its stomach, but more terrifyingly, other dinosaurs. Jury is still out as to whether they took the creatures down themselves or feasted on any remains they found, the latter being more likely. Number three, the Megalodon. Scared of sharks? Well, maybe skip ahead because we are about to talk about the guy we are all grateful doesn't exist anymore. The Megalodon. Two words, Big Daddy. This guy was bigger than a school bus with giant teeth ready to tear into ambitious prey like whales and whatever else it felt like. Fossils of this mammoth of nightmares have been found across the world from Europe to Africa to North America. This beast had no boundaries and of course, when you're as big as this guy, why would you? It's a common belief that they coexisted with dinosaurs, but they actually missed them by around 40 million years. They actually lived around 2.6 to 1.5 million years ago, which implies it may have been around four humans. The reason they went extinct, however, is assumed because of the ice age. The Megalodon enjoyed warm waters and it might have diminished its food supply, so. Thanks, nature. It's vast. Number two, Leviathan Melvilli, the ultimate killer whale. The whale's so big, it had to eat other whales. And also, if you're wondering if I'm meaning to say Leviathan, I'm not. Though it was originally Leviathan, they had to change it because it was taken. So, Leviathan it is. If you've heard the horrific story of Moby Dick, then this would be the whale that they face, though probably not because they were extinct long before the book was even written. They lived around 12 to 13 million years ago during the Miocene Epoch and could grow up to 45 to 60 feet. The head alone was around three meters long. On top of their immense size, they had a terrifying set of sharp, deep-rooted teeth, each about the size of a two-liter bottle of pop, which is more than double the size of a T-Rex's teeth. So with big teeth needs big game and the Leviathan rose to the occasion. From large squids to other whales, the Leviathan was a force to be reckoned with and one I never ever want to encounter. So if there's a trip going back in time, count me out. Number one, the Tylosaurus. It sounds massive, it is massive. It makes you glad you weren't around 65 million years ago. The Tylosaurus was a water-bound lizard who had strong, sturdy limbs that evolved to eventually walk on land. Not a pleasant thought. Its gaping mouth allowed it to swallow creatures whole, or if it couldn't do that, its strong jaws and razor-sharp teeth took care of that. It could grow to the length of 45 feet. I'm 5'6", so it could fit about eight of me. The remains of the great creature have been found all across Texas and Kansas. And if you love the 2015 Jurassic World film, you got a glimpse of the massive monster. Here's a clip to remind you. Did you, did you freak out when it jumped out? Gotcha. And that was our top 10 list of creatures we hope no longer wander the deep, though we can never really be sure, can we? If you like this video, show us some love by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to stay up to date. Which creature do you think was most fascinating? Let us know in the comments. I've been your host, Rachel Fisher, and until next time, stay sweet and be high.